Hey guys, I'm super excited to share with you a Toolhouse and N810 workflow that I built that saves you ton of time. So with GPT-5, Claude and any other model that comes out these days, you want to stay updated. You want to stay on top of the game and you want to not only scroll, but do the research yourself. So if you're a founder, a researcher, student, or just an enthusiast, you're going to love this and you're, it's going to blow your mind. All right, so first we are just getting some papers from archive, passing it to my Toolhouse agent. My Toolhouse agent will do a bunch of stuff. So it will perform a deep research. I'm going to explain to you what the deep research means. Then it generates a diagram for me. So some visualization that can break down the whole paper for me and draft me some social media posts that I can share with my friends or the community. And as a bonus here, I am pushing everything in my Superbase project. So everything is stored in a database and I get a confirmation email from my agent. So, hey human, I done everything. You don't need to do anything. All right, so whenever you see a paper like this, so this is just a random paper, capabilities of GPT-5 on multimodal medical reasoning, uh, you're gonna have everything. You have a nice diagram that's generated by your Toolhouse agent. It will perform a deep research. So the deep research means that it will look into evaluations. So us just not looking at this page, uh, this paper, we already know what's inside. The whole benchmarks, the metrics, the accuracy, the precision, the reasoning score, and the base models that the paper is talking about. And then it drafts an executive report. So it's going to talk about what is the core idea, the scalability, the security aspects, and the technical summary of like, what was the problem, what was the approach, and what is the result. So before diving into the NA10 workflow to show you how this stuff works, pause the video, sign up to Toolhouse, use the link that's going to appear here somewhere. It's free. So I'm going to link in the description the whole workflow. You can just paste it in into your NA10 workflow. You need only Toolhouse API key, which is free. All right, let's go. All right, we're in the Toolhouse workflow. I kept it super simple. First step, get the papers. Second step, Tulas does the job. That's it. All right, just let's just execute the whole workflow. All right, we can see already stuff getting into action. So first step is done. What I'm basically doing here is just performing a query search into archive. And here you can just go into the edit field and change this search query. I'm just curious about GPT-5. So here I'm just passing GPT-5. You can just change it to whatever field you're interested in. Then all of this information will be sent to my Toolhouse, uh, Toolhouse agent. The Toolhouse agent, uh, the first one is a researcher. So just drafts everything for me, the diagram, the LinkedIn post and the research metrics. And then it will send everything to the database writer. So this is where the super base and the email comes in the part. And let's see what's happening here. All right. So here in the code, you can see that I'm fetching last seven papers about GPT-5 from archive. So you can just go ahead and open this links. It should open a paper for you. This should be different than what we saw, but you get the point. Different papers. This one is 56 pages. So it's working perfectly. We got all the papers here and as an example I'm just pushing this one to my toolhouse agent so here you can see our PDF URLs from the previous node we have our agent the toolhouse agent which summarizes and you know does all the work for us and it's going to use this paper so let's just paste it in this was the same paper and on the right side, you can see all the information that Toolhouse agent came up with. So it already knows the publish dates, it stores everything for you, the tags, and this is the executive summary we talked about. So without looking at the paper, we have the three sentence, three line summary of the core idea, the market potential of it, the scalability outlook, you know, the whole problem and solution, benchmarks, you know, everything is here. And this is where I get more excited about the LinkedIn post, the diagram, uh, mermaid diagram that you came up with. 
All right, this looks perfect. Then this whole workflow will generate this diagram for you that you can visit or download. So if I click download, it's going to download the SVG file and everything is here without even looking at the paper. Let's go to Superbase and see what's in there. All right, we're in the Superbase environment. We got a new entry, we got a new table and entry is in there. So you can see all the stuff we talk about, the title, the paper ID, authors, I can go on. Everything is there, even with the diagram mermaid and the LinkedIn post. So your database is set. Let's check out our email. <laughs> this is great. We got the email from our agent, your personal archive agent sent just now, the summary of Superbase update. It told me that, hey, I created a table, papers, and a new row about this paper. So, and it has a, the, the archive ID and everything is there. All right, so this is pretty awesome. Make sure you sign up use code human i'm going to write it in the screen if you want to take a step further and go for paid plans on toolhouse use that code human and it will give you 50 percent off and if you have any problems with the workflow or you want to get started with toolhouse and you need help join our discord server i'm going to make sure it appears here or link it in the description and see you in the next one bye bye